So it's been a while since we have done an unboxing and review of a router, but I am particularly excited about this one because this is the latest Wi-Fi 6 router from Synology because it's been a while since they have released a router and this is probably the most powerful router that they have ever done and it is also a feature packed router just like its previous releases. This is the Synology RT6600AX which has a lot of features and you guys know very well that Synology is famous for making NAS and they have actually brought their NAS operating system onto a router level which is called Synology Router Management Software. So I'm particularly excited about this one and a big shout out to Synology for being able to send this over for review because this router is not available in the Malaysian market. It is available in other markets for a price of 300 US dollars which I think is very reasonable for the specs that it has. So without further ado, let's unbox and set this bad boy up. The Synology RT6600AX is a tri-band Wi-Fi 6 router which makes this such an exciting router. It also has a 1.8GHz quad-core processor along with 1GB of DDR3 RAM. This is a router that can host a lot of devices on the network and this is particularly useful if you're in a network environment with 50-60 devices connected at the same time. Now let's just unbox this router right now. Okay, first up, we have the router on top here in this uh, black cloth cover, which is really nice. We are just going to put it aside. It is sealed, by the way. And let's check out other items inside. So we have a quick installation guide, and we have the adapter and an RJ45 cable. And I guess that's pretty much about it. This is a very environmental friendly packaging as usual from Synology. This goes the same for their NAS as well. Okay, so the packaging is pretty simple, it comes with all these contents. And this is how the router looks like. Ooh, it looks amazing. So apparently the antennas are fixated to the router. So you can't remove them or change them if you want to. So there's a total of six antennas here, which I assume three of them is for uh, five gigahertz and the other three is for the 2.4 gigahertz network. So this is it. It is a pretty big router. It's very, very heavy as well and it does feel very premium when it comes to design and you know even though this is a really powerful router and i think it's, it works well for gaming but it doesn't have that uh, gaming feel on it so if you want a more low profile looking router that's powerful yeah this is it this is actually pretty good so on the top here you have a couple of leds uh of course uh, with four of them being LAN indicators there is also one indicator wi-fi and a status indicator to see whether it is connected to your gateway successfully or not. On the sides here, you get two buttons. You get a WPS button and a Wi-Fi on and off button. On the back, you get a dedicated one port that supports up to one gigabit per second. And the LAN one port right over here can also serve as a one port that supports up to 2.5 gigabit per second of transmission. So just in case if you have a broadband connection that can support more than one gigabit per second, this is the port that you should use. And the remaining ports are all one gigabit per second gigabit LAN ports. And of course, you do get a USB 3.0 port for connecting things such as printers, uh, 4G modems, and some of the peripherals that you want to connect onto this router here and finally there's the power button the reset button and of course the dc import and that's pretty much on this router here there is no additional usb ports that i can see overall this is a really well built router and i'm very impressed with the build quality and now let's get to the setup process all right, so first of all, we got to connect to the Synology router by choosing the access point right over here, which I've already done. So the default password for the RT6600AX would be Synology. Pretty straightforward. There's no need to go under the router to find out what's the pin code. And I just simply click this open browser and connect. And I should be brought to the setup uh, wizard right away. This is it. Looks, looks like a really nice splash screen here. Link and share all possibilities. So I'm just going to set my username and I am going to check on the end user license agreement. Let's name my network as usual, KL Gadget Guy. I'm going to enter my password here. And interestingly, there's a location here. All right, this is for the country that we are in. So we are in Malaysia, here we go. All right, and let's click on next. 
So here are two operation modes that you can choose from. So let's do wireless router because this is what we're going to be. External access to SRM. Now this is the interesting part because uh, previous Synology routers can all uh, access from the outside if you want to. So if you want to access your Synology router from the outside, just like how you do on your Synology NAS, you can definitely enable this. But for now, I'm just going to leave it disabled. So let's click on next. Internet connection. PPPoE, yep, that's uh, that's the setting for time internet here in Malaysia. So I'm just going to enter my username right now. Okay, so some ISPs may require that you enter additional information. Now, this is uh, in the case that if your ISP has some special requirements such as VLAN, you will need to click on this to set the VLAN uh, of the router in order to get connected to the gateway. But in our case, time internet does not require to set any VLAN. So we're just going to click on apply right now. All right, so once we are done, we are brought to this page where the router will configure itself and we are just going to wait for a bit and come back in a bit. All right, so that is actually pretty fast. We have barely even reached about one minute and the router is fully set up right now. So I'm just going to connect back to uh, my new SSID, which I've just set. All right, and let's head over here. So it is already available already. We're just going to do connect. Okay, and we are connected and secured. So let's log into the router right now. So we're going to just tap on this router.synology.com to head over to the router management screen. Okay, so here we go. We are at the router sign in page right now. I'm just going to enter my username and we should be getting in in a bit. Okay, so it is loading right now. It's really, really fast compared to the last Synology router that I've used. So congratulations, you have set up your Synology router and I'm just going to start managing now. All right, so here we go. After clicking on the start managing, this is the page that we got into. There is a welcome guide on telling you what you can do on these menus. And this reminds me of Synology's a uh, great DSM operating system, which is available on its NAS. I'm just gonna click on everything okay and agree and quickly show you guys on what's inside here. So this is a nice wallpaper that we got here. So there is the network, network center that um, you can get to know more about your network, the status and you know, whatever clients that's connected to your network here. So this is the status screen. The internet screen here uh, is the configuration of your internet connection in, uh, in your network environment port forwarding, local network, traffic control. Now, this is really interesting because this is where you can control uh, the traffic of your network. It is also known as quality of service. So let's say I can set this device to have a custom, to have a custom speed uh, if I want to, just in case it overuse the bandwidth of my connection. So this is a really cool feature that you don't really get on most routers of this class. It's really great that Synology gives you a lot of control on your network. So we have security tab also. These are some uh, security features that you can do on your router management software. And operation modes, this is where you can switch between operation modes if you want to, if your current network environment requires a different network operation, all right? So let's head on over to uh, Wi-Fi Connect, right? Now, this is a really interesting part because this is where you can see uh, how your network bands are performing right now. So as I mentioned, this is a tri-band router and currently we have some devices that are connected to the 5 gigahertz network and some of them are onto the 2.4 gigahertz network. So as you can see, um, this is a very interesting chart that you don't get to see on many other routers uh, out there. And of course, this is your mesh Wi-Fi network. So this router, by the way, it actually supports a mesh Wi-Fi network. So if you happen to have another Synology router or a similar router, you can create multiple uh, mesh points if you want to, okay? So Wi-Fi settings, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can uh, change your Wi-Fi password right over here, even configure uh, some things like radio. If let's say you're, you are in a really complicated network environment, you want to configure uh, the radio, the transmission power of your network manually, this is where you can go to. And Wi-Fi point, this is for your mesh network and Wi-Fi client, right? So this is uh, where you can see which uh, device is using the most of your network. This is a very, very interesting administration page, which again, you can't find it on 
many other routers out there. I think this is, I mean, of course, some other, most other routers would have this feature, but it doesn't do as well as Synology's Wi-Fi Connect feature, All right? So next, we are going to head on over to Package Center. This is where it is the most interesting part of the Synology uh, router management software because you can install apps just like how you do on a Synology NAS on this router here. Of course, compared to a regular Synology NAS, you do get lesser packages right over here. Uh, you get safe access, VPN plus server, download station, threat prevention, and yada, 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 some other uh, packages that's inside the package center. But if you happen to find some other third-party uh, packages made for Synology's router, you can actually do a manual install on this thing, which is very interesting because not all routers can support a manual app installation unless you load up a custom firmware, right? So, yep, this is the SRM software, which remains quite similar to last time. Now, let's get into the safe access package right here, which is actually a parental control feature of the Synology RT6600AX. Now, Synology's router has the most comprehensive parental control ever. Let me show you what you can do right here, right? So, First of all, you can create a profile if you want to. So let's just create one. So let's just click on start and let's do a user profile, right? So we are gonna set the rules. Let's do my kit. For instance, we are gonna choose a couple of devices that belongs to my kit. I have a virtual kit, by the way. So let's probably choose like maybe this Canon printer and maybe a Dreamy vacuum and let's press create, okay? So let's assume these two devices are my kids, smartphone or computer. And what's creating, and now it's done, okay? So let's click on okay, and to avoid client devices bypassing safe access monitoring, uh, you need to enable do not allow client devices to use DOH servers, so let's just enable it since it recommends that. Um, we're just gonna enable DDoS protection and let's click on apply. And also do not allow client devices to use DOH servers. I'm not sure what is that. Okay, so once we're done, yep, so this is uh, how we set up a profile on the safe access package. So we can set up an internet schedule, which is to limit a certain time period that these devices can go online. Um, time quota, how long can they actually go online if they want to? So up to three hours and 30 minutes, I guess that's pretty sufficient for most kids out there, right? So we also have web filter. Now, I think this is the feature that most parents would want to enable on their kids, all right? So you can uh, select a web filter here, or, but I think the most interesting thing is that it has a custom feature, right? So we're just gonna add a custom feature here. Let's say uh, adult websites and let's click on next and let's click on adult content next you can even do domains here right so let's just say www.porn i'm not just gonna, i'm not going to say that anymore but just let's this is just an example okay you can just add on the domain name that you do not want anyone to access and i think this is very useful because most routers that i have seen with parental controls they only allow you to block categories but they do not let you specify a, spe a specific url for blocking so this is actually a, a pretty cool stuff that you can do here so let's click on ok and once we're done and it's all set your devices these two devices will be blocked from accessing the website that i said earlier on and let's head on over to security so there are also some features here such as enable threat intelligence database which the router will download some uh, safety database from online to ensure that you do not go to a malicious website and you also have uh, google safe browsing which is uh, google's safe browsing feature to ensure that you do not get to a malicious website and also this activity you can actually see what uh, which devices have been blocked and even a system log as well and a report, a safety report if you want to generate that and go to, go to settings here. You can also see that there's some settings here. Uh, let's say uh, you want to be notified if a device has been blocked or something else, the router will notify you over email, SMS or mobile or desktop to tell you that you know, whether the code has been reached or a website has been blocked. So yeah, very, very comprehensive. Uh, parental controls on this router, which is why Synology routers are really my favorite when it comes to such kind of network configurations. 
Now, let's do a file transfer speed test using this laptop here, which has a Wi-Fi 6 card from MediaTek. So I'm going to show you guys what is the connection speed right now. So currently we are connected to this Wi-Fi network with a transfer and receive speed of 1201 megabits per second, which is actually very close to gigabit Ethernet speeds, all right? So uh, we're just going to head on over to this Bell folder here, and I'm going to copy this Viome Smart Air Purifier Pro video, which is about two gigabytes in size over to my SSD drive over here, okay? So we're gonna head on to the documents folder here and we're just gonna paste it right now. Let's find out what is the transfer speed. Okay, so we are maxing out at about 55, 6, 7. Yep, it's slowly increasing. That's how a wireless network works. So I think the max that we got right over here is about 59 or 60 megabytes per second, which I think is pretty decent for a wireless file transfer from our Synology NAS over here. So you do not expect the full 100 megabytes per second speed because it's a pretty slow hard drive inside. So yeah, it's pretty much like a, like a wired connection transfer, I would assume. So yeah, it's pretty much like a wired file transfer speed and I would say that it is pretty impressive. And now let's do a quick speed test on the router. We have a 500 megabit per second connection from Time Internet and I'm located a feet away, which I'm expected to get really, really low pings and a good full 500 megabit per second download speed, all right? So we're just going to tap on go right now. And there you go, we have over 60 over megabytes. That's actually more than 500 megabits per second of speed. Ping response is good, 5 milliseconds, very reasonable for a wireless network. And boom, there you go. This is the speed test that I got when I'm located like a feet away. So of course, if you're in a studio of a thousand square feet, there shouldn't be any problems when using a router like the Synology RT6600AX. Now, uh, the good thing about this router, like I mentioned, this is a tri-band router. So if you live in a house or an apartment that has a really big space and with lots of uh, wireless connections around you, this router is going to do a really good job of uh, switching between bands when your device is connecting to it. Overall, I am very impressed with the features and performance that the Synology RT6600AX router offers. The only complaint that I have is the non-removable antennas. And if you are the kind of careless person that tends to break antennas and so on, this is something that you need to look out when you purchase the Synology RT6600AX. It retails at 300 US dollars in certain markets. I'm not sure about, about your country, but in Malaysia, it is still not on sale yet. But if you are a Malaysian watching this video and want this router here in the market, do leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to let Synology know that you guys are interested and hype about buying this router. All right, and that's pretty much for my review for today. Thank you very much for watching. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.